Hello, my friends. My name is Unky, and welcome back to another episode of My Time at Sandrock. Something that I wanted to do really quick. Defense plus two, stamina plus five. This is actually a better hat than this one. I guess because it's perfect, that's nice. So we're just gonna keep rocking this unless we have a sandstorm or something like that happening now. The last episode, we dove into the mines to find ourselves some tin. We were able to make it to level three and found tin, but not enough, not enough tin. Okay, we will want to make sure that we keep these bad boys going. Um, let's go ahead and max that out. We did not get enough tin and so we are going to have to return to the mines, hopefully to get enough to finish our pickaxe today. So that is our plan. Now there is also a very, very cool potentially quest, a piece of the past. We gotta go talk to Katori Katori. That is their name. And uh, they're gonna give us a little heads up on the uh, weird thing that we found down at the bottom of the mines. It was this thing, DNA model piece one. So we'll talk to her and see if that gives us something cool. There is actually a bunch of really, really weird stuff that we found down there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and sort this. Now, I had way more stuff in my bags, but I just took the liberty of dumping everything that I could and I didn't really need to have on me into the uh, chest off camera because you don't really need to see every time I do inventory management. All right. This letter is to inform you that the clinic has new medical trials available. These trials will be available Wednesday and Friday. Effects and side effects may not be in line with customers' expectation. Fang Clinic reserves the right to interpret the effectiveness of said projects in just at your own risk. So this is our bizarre doctor that talks through his bird that is uh, wants to do medical trials on us. I do not know how I feel about that. The research you commissioned is now complete. The blueprints are enclosed as promised, impeccable and punctually delivered, acquired. Okay, so we got our grinder. Let's take a look at it. Cause we're gonna need that, I think, to build the stage backdrop, which is what we committed to. So what does this grinder need? It needs bearings. It needs bronze bars, so even more bronze, and it needs bricks. Okay, well, we're gonna say assemble. Let's come over here. How many stones did it need? Bearing, okay, we have the bearings. Let's put those in there. Nice, looks good. Bricks, six bricks. Oops. Six bricks. Um, let's see, six, quick build. Great, let's uh, load this up with more dregs. There we go. So that's gonna take all day to make, beautiful. And then the last thing is bronze bars, of which we have three, but this train is so cool. That is just awesome looking. Okay, we're gonna go talk to Katori Katori. We're gonna see about this before we head in the mines. I'm hoping this doesn't take too, too long. Oh, the other thing that I wanna do, we'll do this as we're heading by. We wanna get ourselves some stamina food. Since we don't have the ability to craft food yet, we're going to need, let's see, let's take a look and see what, does this tell me what these do? There's so many of them, please tell me what these do. Do I just have to buy these and guess? That is kind of disappointing, isn't it? Interesting. Today's special, spicy and sour soup and cold sesame noodles. These are 50% off. So why don't we order these? Where's the cold noodles? Oh, this is, we just eat these here. We don't buy them for later. Okay, well, that was fun. Um, let's see, do we order? Okay, blue moon to go, duh. Okay, so let's see. Health points, okay, so that regens health, that's nice. Critical hit, uh, health point regen, stamina regen. We'll buy a bunch of those. We'll buy, we'll buy, how many should we buy? We can buy five of these, we have a thousand goal and um, I don't really see a reason not to have stamina plus one. Do we have just plain old straight up? Okay, those are ingredients, ingredients. Stamina plus 8%. I like that, we'll buy one of those. Stamina plus 26. We'll buy, um, that would be all that we can buy of that. We don't need to go crazy, right? We really don't need to go crazy. Meat bun, okay, there we go. Now we have tons of food. I'm so proud of my food, look at this. 
throwing rock. We don't need that. Let's hang on to our pick hammer. All right, to Katori Katori. Hey, Grace. Howdy. Howdy. Let's chat with you her. Know, I really like walking around this desert setting. I don't know why. Maybe I was born under the Phoenix Star. Okay, fascinating enough. I could give her Plague Critters. What is this? There are four rounds in a game. In a round, each player plays one card. Whoever wins the round gets one point. The player with the most points at the end of the game wins. Elephant beats wolf and cat. Wolf beats cat. Cat beats mouse. Mouse beats elephant. Okay, this is really interesting. Do we just each play a card and see who wins? Every player has their own strategy. Pay attention to your opponent's play style to find winning moves. You draw a new card each round. Okay. Here we go. Here's to a good match. Oh, it's got it right here. I didn't even need to write it down. Okay. What would you do if I played a mouse? What would I do if I played a mouse? Is she trying to trick me? Is she trying to trick me? Let's try and play elephant. Gotcha. Ah, I'll let you win this time. Okay, is she playing a mouse now? Well, let's see, why don't we try cat? Yes, gotcha. I am so freaking good at this game. What do we think she's going to do next? Okay, so we have, she's played a cat, she has played a mouse. It looks like you have maybe two cards, three cards of each. I'll say I have a mouse. What if it's an elephant? Let's try mouse. This is insane. I cannot believe I'm winning this well. Okay, so cat, mouse, elephant. The only thing she hasn't played is wolf. So I'm gonna try elephant again. Nope. You did make a mistake. I won big. How fun. What an exciting round. Hey, that boosts our relationship by plus five. We should do that more often um, with the people that we want to build reputation with. That is really fun. Okay, so where is this museum? I think it's over here. Let's go see about this interesting little thing. It's only eight o'clock in the morning, so we're not too late. It's not still really early, I should say. That was a bird. Low Flying Bird Museum. Okay, I don't think we've been here yet, so this is kind of cool. We were over here at the arcade in a previous episode. Let's see. Great big doors. Katori, so she's totally oh, new to us. Hey there. You got something for me? Um, I don't know. I'll be darned. This relic fragment. It's exactly the one I was looking for. I can't believe it. Look, look, I have the other fragments right here. Okay. She's really excited. Why don't you go over to the restoration machine in my museum and reconstruct this item? Come back when you're done. Okay. Oh, you're a new builder. Nice to meet you. Okay. I'm Katori. Is this a I Boston we'll accent? Together a lot in the future. Okay. I'm trying to turn Sandrock back into the jewel of the desert with my Golden Goose Entertainment Extravaganza Complex. Eh, that's a mouthful. It needs better phrasing. I think you should stick with it. I love anyway, it. It's even ostentatious. Even no idea what I'm talking about, drop by and have some fun. Here, a few tokens to get you started. A few tokens? What? I need to go dive into the mines. I do not have time to play games, but I would love to come back. Okay, Relic Restoration Machine. Let's take a look. Okay, so this costs data disks. Interesting. Fish fossil, fish fossil. Okay, so it wasn't the DNA model that I found. It was this fish fossil. Let's restore this. There we go. So this is becoming a currency and we have to manage this well. Let's take a look at this thing. Where is it? There it is, fish fossil. Let's put that right there. Holy crap, it's humongous. Hello. Now there. that's a nice looking relic. <laughs> I'm gonna display it in my museum. Here's something for your hard work. Okay. Keep your eye out for more relic pieces in the future. Anytime you collect a full set, you can use the restoration machine to reconstruct a relic. Nice. Then you can put them on display in the museum. And, I might add, donors will be rewarded handsomely. Okay, where is it? Show me. Are you going to put it down? I want to see where it goes. Look at all these big tables. Uh, I didn't even see what we got there. Let's chat with her again. She is great. I love People this character. People think I'm crazy for trying to turn this place into an entertainment hotspot, but just look around. It's free real estate. You know what I mean? So if you're trying to build like a like a theme park, that makes sense. But let me tell you, only like there are not... Not a lot of people love going to museums. Not a lot of young people. What is this? Where the past comes to life. Scrawled at the bottom of text says, the Church of Light requires us to specify that this is a metaphor. Okay, whatever. Look, I am an exhibit on display myself. Okay, 
This was really cool. I'm glad that this is here. We will have a lot of fun exploring that into the future, but before it gets any later, it's back to the mines. I'm going to run straight there. Post haste, I'll see you there in a second. She looks like a new character. Welcome to Sand Rock. I'm Mabel. My husband Cooper and I run the largest Yakmo ranch south of the Eufaula. Ever tried Yakmo milk before? It's got an acquired taste. Here, take a couple of bottles. It's our way of saying, howdy do, neighbor. Well, thank you. Hi there, hi there. Howdy do, builder. Try to be careful when you work with your machines. I've heard awful stories of careless builders losing their fingers. Don't let it happen to you. Is that See really ya. a problem? See ya. Okay, can we just buy more yak mill milk from here? Cool. I love that she's like, we sell the milk and then we sell the animal that made the milk. I have five bottles of yak mill milk now. Amazing. This train I love so much. Okay, 10 o'clock. We should be able to spend a good solid full day in the mines. Buy pass. Buy a pass to access you follow salvage ruins and scrapyard. 200 golds a week. Do I have that? Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on a second. That's a lot of money. Okay, so we need to make sure that we have money in the bank. I feel like I remember them saying that you had to buy a pass. I think it's a weekly pass. I wanna go fight those robots. But all we get is down here right now. You are here. So this is where we wanna go. So maybe this is telling me, okay, so DNA model. So here we go, golden bullhead. So this is fish fossil, we found that. So these are the different layers where we might find these relics can be seen. Oh, and I wonder if I find another one, if I can put it in my house. That's really cool. Okay, enter. We're here to mine all the tin. Do not stand in my way. So let's see, we um, came in here before. I'm guessing that it's like two tin ore per bronze bar, something like that. And we have, um, we got enough to make two. Okay, so four, oh, so we'll get there really, really quickly. I don't even need to worry about it, but we will get a bunch of it while we're here. Here we go. I guess we can get to the point where we literally mine out this entire place. Okay, let's look around for more tin ore. Remember, we have plenty of copper, so I'm not too worried about that. Is there like a door over here or is this just, uh, no, it's just wall. Power stones. This looks like maybe, oh no, we did come down here, did we not? And this maybe looks like a door. Do you think there's a room through here? Looks like something. Nice, we figured it out. Ooh, look. Spaceship model, piece two, that's awesome. Okay, is there any tin around here? It doesn't look like it. What's we're gonna do? We're gonna turn this on and we're gonna see what we can find. right there just an old part nothing exciting okay is this a door no it doesn't look like it another data disc and a level up glorious I am wondering if there is even a door through here. Well, we'll look around. I mean, it's gonna be along this wall, right? If there is, but I am guessing that there isn't. Maybe over here? Oh, maybe right there. <laughs> Come on, guy. Nope, can't get through there. Okay, well it doesn't seem like there's anything in here. Let's go back the way we came. and see if we can't find, okay, here we go. We have to remember to use our goggles. They're gonna lead us to the promised land every time. Is there any other goodies in this room? Doesn't appear that way. Perfect. Okay. 
Oh, bomb. Nice. We are starting to run low on um, stamina, and I think we have one that slowly regenerates stamina over time. One every two seconds. Why don't we... Can I just click this? No, I think we gotta go six. Not roll. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, there's a lot of tin right here. Is there any more? No, let's turn on the goggles, see what this... That one's a little closer. We'll go to that one. Okay, old part. DNA model piece one plus one. So now I have two of those. Okay. Not really what I wanted. I wanted maybe the other one. Um, interesting. Okay, let's do it here. And we are about to run out of stamina. Let's see, which one? I think it's this one, veggie stir fry. Did give me some stamina. Not a lot though, actually. These food doesn't really give us a ton of stamina. And I think that this lasts for 30 seconds. Okay. <clears throat> so. It's probably not worth it to burn up a ton. Stamina every two seconds. There we go. That's a lot better. What time is it though? It's 15 something. Kind of like the stamina every. Okay. Well, stamina every two seconds. Obviously that's better than one. Correction, two stamina every two seconds as opposed to one stamina every two seconds. The two every two is better. Uh, it's kind of amazing just how big this place is. There's the door. There's a little more tin ore. Maybe we will hold off. We'll try not to burn up all of our food this one playthrough. Okay. Whoa, look out. DNA model piece two, yes. Is that all the pieces we need? Hold on. Exit's right over here. Let's just go this way. Let's see if we can get there um, and get to layer four. Oh, we're so freaking close. Yes, we did it, didn't we? Layer four, beautiful. Okay, is there anything just immediately visible? No, whoa, this is crazy though. Okay, let's get out of here. Ooh, wait, what the heck is that? Let's take a look in here. Um, let's eat one of these. I literally, oh, I ate two of them. I wonder if they stack. Doesn't look like it. I just want to go through this freaking door, come on. Wanted to see what this was. It was definitely not worth fat fingering. <laughs> All of that, dang it. What do you know? What can you say? Can we get some more of this ore maybe? Yes. Nope. Well, we're gonna have to call it quits my friends. Let's get out of here. Leave ruins. Confirm. Okay, that should be more than enough tin now to get ourselves a better pickaxe. The one thing that we are still missing, and it might be early enough in the day to get it, is the, uh, it's like the, oh, I forget what it was called, but it was basically like a sanding stone. And I think it said we get that at hammer time. Um, we will have to start selling some stuff if we want to start making money. So this is something we'll have to think about. Oh look, it's uh, um, a Myra. 
Let's say hi. Hello there. Have you gotten used to the heat yet? A lot of travelers complain about the sand rock heat. But since I'm from Barna Rock, I don't even notice it. Well, that's fantastic. Doesn't bother me. Let's play Critters. How about a round of Critters? Feeling lucky. Round one. First card is key. That is true. So I'm going to play a mouse. Nope. Okay, she played a wolf. I wonder what's next. I'm going to play an elephant. Okay, we are definitely... What to play next? She played a mouse. Elephant. I'm gonna play cat. Did I win? No, she won. Dang it, she's gonna beat me. She's gonna beat me. She played an elephant. Well, I'm gonna go with elephant again. Oh, she got me. Yeah, no kidding. Oh well. Plus one. So <laughs> let's play again sometime. She wasn't nearly as impressed. So the other person that I fought. Look at that. Just another item floating in air. That's so funny. What is causing that to happen? So the other person was like, hey, you're pretty good at this game. This is fun. She was like, uh, I am not that interested in uh, beating people that suck at this game. Sorry. Okay. Collect. And then bronze bar. Let's just max it out. We'll max this out too. Do we need to? That's a lot. Actually, I don't think we need to do this. max this out. How many did we say we needed? We only need, I want to say three. There we go. Let's make sure that I'm right about that. Right. We have three, so actually we only need two. But let me guess. I think we needed bronze bars for this. We needed four, and we have three, and we needed five. So we actually need eight bronze bar. Is that correct? Yes, we needed eight, we have three, so we do need five. So we said three, there we go. We'll add that to the queue, that should be fine. Should be perfect. Now, as far as wood goes, I think we talked about how we wanted to do, make a bookshelf, right? Let's go ahead and craft some of these. We're gonna need fuel for this, there you go, confirm. Those are gonna take a few minutes, and how many wood do we need for this bookshelf? Let's see. We're gonna need six. We're gonna need two more wood, so we'll have to go out there and get a little more wood scrap. In fact, we could do that right now if we wanted to. Let's dump some of this stuff off. Auto fill. And uh, you can actually just cycle through your boxes right here, which is really convenient. I like that. Sort all, confirm. Oh wait, we can't because we're completely, completely out of stamina. We can't do anything. Uh, last thing we could do, my mistake, that's right, that's right, is sharpening stone from hammer time. Let's see if we can catch them before they close. They're probably closed now. No, 8 to 2200, plenty of time. Let's go. Hello, sir. Five hundred and fifty. Holy crap. Okay. We're going to need to sell some stuff. We're going to have to start selling stuff if we want to have the money to do anything. Look out! Okay, so you can't really jump over people. You more just like knee them in the head. <laughs> Sorry. Well, let's take a look and see what kind of crap we can unload. Right? Because we have so much stuff that we're not really using. Um, for example, rib meat, don't care about this. Uh, rooster rocket, don't care about this, that sells. These sell for a lot, 24 right there. Okay, obviously we need dregs. Quartz, I'm sure, is something we'll need. Hardwood planks. These, um, old parts, I'm sure, niter, so all of that. Let's see, cactus spine seems like something, actually, because we're not allowed to chop down cactus at all. That might be something worth selling okay so i feel like the rest of this stuff is kind of rare and maybe i don't want to give it up i might dump this food scrap since we just don't have any reason for it and it doesn't seem like it's that hard to get a handle of same with the things like the yak mill hair so what do we got going on over here silk scarf 
Requires level 10. I don't know what level I'm at yet. Why don't we just sell the doo doo? I don't care about that. Ooh, we can make actually a little more doo. We'll sell some of the ant honey. Chitin shell. We'll sell this garbage. And then, let's see, spaceship model 2. DNA piece. I'm going to put these in here for now. And what other things? Let's see. We could put the tin ore in here. We don't need to run around with a bunch of that. Let's put that in there. And then I feel like we could probably do something like this damaged animal pelt. One thing we could do is make a bunch of leather and sell that since that seems like that's pretty easy to get a handle a hand of it's pretty easy to get our hands on i'm trying to say pigment we bought this and we have not used it at all okay oh this is not like other games i can't just throw it in here and sell it dang it okay well i gotta go sell this stuff at a shop well, I guess that's what we'll do next episode, huh? Is go around and try and make a little bit of money hawking garbage. Excellent. Well, we're slowly but surely getting there. Slowly but surely. What is the next thing? Bricks? Oh, we can put that on there. Beautiful. We just need one more bronze bar. Ooh, we got it. We got it. Let's do it. Yes. Pick up. Work queue, capacity, production speed, fuel capacity. It is awesome. Inventory. Let's put this bad boy down. She gave us that yak mill milk too. We don't really need to hang on to that. I'm going to put it right here. What? No, I do not want to check the mail. Grinder. Well, let's see. Copper pipe, copper screw. Ooh, we can make two of these. Right? I think it's two. Isn't that what we needed? Nice. Out of fuel. Oh, duh. That's right. Everything takes fuel. Uh, we've actually maxed out. We've gone through all the dregs possible. Why don't we do this? Dial this back. Put a third one in there. There we go. 70. I should probably use these up and save these. Okay. We said two screws. Is it happening? It's happening. And the last thing, I'm pretty sure we said we needed the stage backdrop. Did we not? Which we do not need screws for. Oh no, but we needed screws for our pickaxe. I think we'll be there. I think we'll be there tomorrow. This is very exciting. Pick hammer, I should say. We just gotta buy this. Okay, well, it's gonna cost us a little bit. My friends, I think this is the perfect time to end the video. Thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. If you could hit the like button and subscribe, leave a comment, all of that great stuff. Otherwise, just know that I appreciate you. I bid you farewell, and I look forward to seeing you next time.